I'm lining up against 3,000 other cyclists and I'm about to race down the biggest beach I have ever seen in my life. I'm mean, in the biggest beach race in the world, Egmont Pierre Egmont. I haven't got a clue what I've got myself into. This is going to be absolutely nuts. <laughs> Four thousand people riding on the beach in winter with a lot of wind and cold temperatures. You didn't come here to build sandcastles. You came here to win. Beach racing has been around for a while, but since the 90s, it's really grown in popularity, and Belgium and Holland is definitely the epicenter, with beach races springing up everywhere. But the race I'm doing today, Egmont Pierre Egmont, is considered perhaps the biggest of them all. I'm told the racing is fierce and chaotic, with crazy winds, super soft sand to navigate, and a massively wide road to race on, plus, a peloton of 3,000 other riders. Perfect ingredients for an epic bike race. The race itself is 38 kilometers long, beginning in Achmond and Z and running 19 kilometers south along the beach before turning around to finish back at the start. Considering my bike handling skills have at times left something to be desired here at GCN, I thought it would be a good idea to get a bit of practice in on the sand first thing in the morning. <laughs> oh, a little bit tricky. I'll try, I'll try again. <laughs> Cheapers. <laughs> so hard getting through the sand. I'm glad I'm practicing now because I'm absolutely useless at it. It's literally like riding for a swimming pool. I need to go full gas. Otherwise, I've got a thousand other cyclists coming into my rear end. Doesn't sound that appetizing. <sighs> Woohoo! I'm on the beach. <sighs> Quite happy about that. I started to worry there. I'll be stuck on the side of the beach for the whole race. It's so soft though. And there's loads of tire tracks. So if you go slow or you don't put the power down, you just slide out big time. It's like a dive bomb to that hard sand. Third time lucky on my own, but there's gonna be thousands of other cyclists all around me when we hit this in a few hours time. Hearts just started beating. What have I let myself in for? <laughs> Everybody gathers at the boulevard. Like it's a big, big straightaway on, 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 on brick road, like this, just like this. It's absolutely freezing, but the start line's hotting up. It is the biggest start pin I think I have ever seen at any race I've ever done. It just keeps on going back and back. So many cyclists. And we're all about to head down onto that beach. I'm just pretty nervous about what this start is going to be like. It feels like it's going to be absolute chaos, mayhem, and I'm sure it is. The nerves are jangling. The nerves are jangling. I'm starting to think I should have been better off in a nice warm, nice warm sofa on the weekend, but that's just the pre-race nerves. Got to make the most of them. I think there's only one thing to do in this, and that is absolutely just send it. <laughs> This is it then. Talk is cheap. Time to get stuck into our first proper Dutch beach race. Five, four, three, two, one. Sharp right turn. Everybody crashes. It's wet and it's slippery. Go really slow. <laughs> and then it's onto the beach. The peloton hits the sand at pace. It is chaos. Luckily, I make it through though. 
losing a GoPro to the madness. Thankfully, I myself am still in the race. So, started off in the second echelon, just about off the beach, 12K in. Absolutely savage. I honestly have never gone this hard on a bike in my life. I've been dropped from the second echelon, dropped from the third echelon, and now I'm on my own echelon. Oh my gosh. Ah. The sand is so soft. <sighs> Don't underestimate riding on sand. Sand is, uh, especially beach sand, sand is really hard to ride. Absolute chaos. The echelons are going on the side and it's getting worse and worse and worse, the beach. So if you're not in the front, you get really thick sand. So then it breaks and you need to go to another one. And if it happens too much, you go to the back. Ah, oh, I'm in the soft sand! Ah! Echelons right away. So your position is everything. You have to be in the front. And if you have, you, 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 you have loads of experience with riding an echelon. This has been absolutely savage. I got dropped from the first echelon, dropped from the second echelon, dropped from the third group, felt pretty good in the fourth group, Got dropped from that as well. Now I'm, I'm about to be caught by the fifth group and I'll probably be dropped by them as well. I basically feel like I've been kicked repeatedly in the balls by a massive Dutch giant who takes no mercy. If you put my legs on a barbecue now, you have a good bit of steak with them because they're absolutely fried. Just add a bit of pepper, some eggs, and maybe a dollop of mayonnaise on the side. Right, time to take on this fifth group for all of 10 seconds. Ah, come on, Connor. You big Irish giant. You didn't come here to build sand castles. You came here to win. Right, all oh, right, slot into this echelon. Please don't drop me, please don't drop me, please don't drop me, please don't drop me. Please don't drop me. Hello! Whilst I suffer on the sand, I thought now would be a good time to dig into the bike I'm riding and why those around me seem to be on slightly different machines. So I've arrived in Holland with what I think is the best setup I can possibly do for this beach race. I've gone for 50 mil tires, lowest pressure going, waxed my chain in a bid to stop the sand clinging to it. Um, and I'm pretty proud of the setup, but I've arrived in Holland and well, I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of funny looks because everyone else is using a really specific beach bike. It's got a longer wheelbase, much fatter tires, clearance for 60 mils. Because apparently this sand is super clingy. But I think I'm still gonna be all right. Either way, I love gravel bikes. I think they're the most versatile option going. So once again, I'm hoping to prove that this bike's got what it takes. The proof will be in the pudding. Hopefully, I'll be surfing that sand with ease. Back to the race now. And whilst I'm hanging in there well, the softer sand is starting to have its effect. The front is well gone, but can I finish strong? I've made it halfway mark. Just come off the beach, we're doing a little loop and then we're going all the way back. A few obstacles on the way though. 18k done, I feel like I've done 180k. Oh, I might have found a good wheel though. You'll take me home. Yeah. Woo. I feel like my legs are absolutely shot already, but I'm well up the next bit. This is absolute bedlam, proper bedlam, but I love it. 
After turning at the halfway mark, I begin to race home to the finish. Aside from allowing a little time to soak up the atmosphere, my head is still in the game. I came here to compete, even if my legs didn't quite get that memo. I'm still hanging on to the groups racing at the front. Can I manage to finish within the top 100 in the biggest beach race of them all? Off the beach. Everything's screaming. <laughs> oh, I'm up! I'm running! Oh, this isn't going to plan! Oh, oh sorry for the service, right? I better run my bike. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, folks. It's been a disastrous first attempt from me at the beach race, but I've had an absolutely amazing time. I've been slowly dropped, group by group. The wind, the beach, the weather's been merciless. <sighs> but it's been absolutely amazing. This is it now, 1k to go. Final spray up the beach, and then we got the finish line. I'm gonna try and hang on to this group I found myself in. Gosh, that was absolutely wild. <sighs> Can you enjoy the finish line now? 200 meters to go. Woo! I survived! With one last gasp up and over the sand, I eventually crossed the finish line in 129th place. Over 15 minutes behind winner Ramon Sinkeldam, the only rider to complete the race in under an hour. Well, that was absolutely savage. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. That was just a mad experience, my first Dutch beach race, and I can see why it is the biggest one in the world. F1, Pierre, F1. Wow, blew me away. I think I'm going to have to come back here with better legs, so and give it another try, because it's a bit addictive. I can see why beach race is addictive. Oh my goodness. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried beach racing, or maybe this video has inspired you to give it a go. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It always helps support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Maybe, maybe sunbathe for a bit on the Dutch coast. <laughs>